Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Woman Seven Spore, back with Rule the Waves Two, where we find out what happens when you can only have ships with one gun caliber on them. Currently, we are at war with the U.S. It is September of 1941. This war has just started. The U.S. is blockaded, and last turn, we unfortunately lost the only action we had with the cruisers Persian and Pearl both being damaged. Um, we did lose a couple corvettes, but for whatever reason, they didn't actually sink. Uh, the U.S., on the other hand, was able to use their submarines to torpedo a couple of our ships, which... Or a few of our, uh, lighter ships, which was annoying. Uh, in terms of the current U.S. state, or state of affairs, um, so still built... Okay, they did get another CBL done. That might be a conversion. No, I think that's a, that's a new custom build. Um... And still working on another carrier, still working on another cruiser, a larger cruiser, and uh, still have some battleships building. But yeah, it looks like they might have just completed some ships. Uh, Andrew Mash is going to move over to the North American East Coast. Currently, we're slightly cash flow positive, um, but only slightly. And... What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start working on uh, submarines. Currently our only production is the CL Curacoa. Um, other stuff's been halted. And I'm actually going to go into research. And given the current state of affairs, I think ASW technology I need to put on high. That's something which is on... Okay, I think that I think that's a good balance. Okay, um, so some of our destroyers are refitting, and that uh, outside of that, the construction we have is largely a uh, Kirko. No, the Medways are new, so we're like three turns away from new destroyers, and we're going to be working on more ASW ships. Um, but yeah, currently they are blockaded. Uh, our fleet's just bigger. I think they do have some. Leads out and about, but, you know, current situation is we're blockading them. Uh, part of me wants to try to invade the Dominican Republic. Part of me is like, no. Philippines would be interesting. Kick them out of a uh, sea zone. Um... But no, we don't have enough... I mean, we'd have to get everything there, and, like, money-wise, we're not in that situation. We'd have to take losses or cause a severe defeat to their fleet. I'll accept this carrier battle over here. Because we're far enough at sea, I think. Um, but if we get spotted, it is immediately put up cap over everything. Okay, so we have our battle cruiser group right here. And then our carrier group, which is going to need to move away. Sea state limit ship speed to what? 28 knots, okay. So we got Furious, Audacious, Centaur, Pegasus, Indefatigable, and Unicorn. Okay. Um, we only have six carriers in play, and unfortunately some of them are lighter carriers. But fortunately some of them aren't. Where the fuck are your strike aircraft? Furious and Audacious don't have a lot of strike aircraft ready. Oh god. Hold on. Those were not on heavy before. Hopefully that'll uh, change what they're doing. Um, it looks like this group's more ready to strike. Um,
Actually, no, Unicorn has an anti-battleship group, so uh, I'll just be readying the uh, two torpedo bombers on her. So, I'm going to order you to 24 knots that way. I'm going to be ordering you to 26. Actually, what is our current sighting report? It's currently that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order the planes probably from Centaur and Pegasus over to provide cap to the battlecruiser group. I'm also going to be requesting land base cap over this division. So we think they're somewhere in this area, and we're unfortunately down here. So I'm kind of wanting to move this way. This way and then up to Nova Scotia. Um, we are within range of enemy bombers. Any reports yet? Up there. That would be the enemy battlecruiser group. Furious's planes, I don't believe, are ready yet. Audacious's are. Audacious is an anti-carrier carrier. Um... The Pegasus would be an anti-battlecruiser carrier, I'm pretty sure. Um, that Centaur would be anti-carrier. Battlecruiser heading down this way. Unicorn Strike will launch at the same location. We'll wait until we get a uh, enemy carrier report. More reports. Oh, hold on. We got spotted. We got spotted game. Maximum cap. Maximum cap. Yeah, the game was running and it wasn't letting me pause, so we got battlecruisers, battlecruisers in this general vicinity. One CL over there. We've not been able to find where the enemy carriers are located. So your goal will be CVs up there. Your goal is going to be BBs over here. That would normally be anti-carrier, but we're going to have to do BBs. Um, two traders, three CVs. Shit, we just spotted them. Slightly too late. Their combat uh, friendly planes are... Or friendly capper is attacking patrol bombers. Something's attacking something else. BB bomb hit over here. EL bomb hit over here. So they're over here right now. I'm going to shift my uh, recon priorities. Yes. Catapult launch. Uh, search planes. Do we have ready? Audacious has some aircraft. Not not enough. Um, Centaur and Pegasus are kind of dry and fatigable. Does have some torpedo bombers unready.
I think I think we just got a launch. Enemy aircraft are approaching one of our divisions. Our cap is shooting stuff down. Three torpedo bombers go after our CVs. Six torpedo bombers go after one of our BBs. Does a good job on the cap. Um, send it there. Cap is damaging and shooting stuff a lot down, or shooting stuff down. Okay, stuff's returning, but it's gonna be nighttime soon. And our planes are not finding shit. Okay, so the problem is, right now, our carriers are stuck recovering everything. And I'm trying to, trying to swing them back this way. There we go. I'm going to order both of you to 20 knots. So what we're going to do is... We're going to try to slip in over here and then hang out in this area over the night. I'm going to go down to cruise speed so that our ships aren't exhausting themselves as much. We're going to have a lot of time in the second day, but it looks like in the first day, um, our total report is, I believe, a couple of bomb hits, right? Yeah, we got a bomb hit reportedly on a battleship and reportedly on a uh, light cruiser. I do want to take a look at what is available. So yeah, Furious' strike group is just not there. Um, Audacious' strike group is pretty damaged. Um, yeah, Pegasus, uh, Centaur and Pegasus don't have big strike groups. Um, Indefatigable's uh, strike group is present, but will need to be sorted. Um, Unicorn's torpedo bombers are back. Okay. So yeah, the thought right now is to just kind of hang out here-ish. Another thought would be to try to slip it up to St. John instead. But their battle cruisers were reported in this area, so I I don't think we try that. I, I this part of me which wants to try that. But I think Halifax, or staying near Halifax, is going to make this easier. Okay. I, I am going to start readying up aircraft. So this would be an anti-battleship. No, this would be anti-carrier. So you would get some fighters. So ready that strike. Yeah. The yeah, Furious just did not get any uh, airplanes. Seems.
Centaur and Pegasus have their stuff ready. Um, Unicorn Strike is ready. And you can get like eight fighters as escort. Okay. So what is the range on our um, dive bombers? Heavy is 203. So let's say we aim over... How far can we aim, actually? Not... Okay, we can't quite hit Portland, so... Uh, those will be launched, you know, whenever we have a uh, good target spotted. Okay. Do you go up to 20 knots as well? Yes. Go up to 22, so that hopefully you pass in front of the carriers. Okay. You know that those are those are okay search arcs. I am happy with those search arcs. Any reports yet? Okay, you know what? You're currently on maximum cap, go to medium. And you go to medium. Actually, go to heavy. Stay on heavy cap for the moment. Ports, uh, battle cruisers over there. Where is Unicorns group? Unicorns, torpedo bombers. That is very much your target. What's the range? The Whitley 172. We can launch there. I'll uh, keep a couple squadrons up for hunting down the carriers if we can find them. Their carriers could be in port, though. Okay, we're spotted now. Um, no. Okay, request. We're going up to uh, maximum cap. Maximum cap. So rather than have strikes ready on carriers, we gotta send. We gotta, like, full send now. This is a clear the decks moment. Because conflagration is bad. Oh, weather limits air operations. Oh, 
I don't have the uh, lead unit selected. Yeah. Yes, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now it... Oh my... Enemy... Oh my... Mm, that was some of the worst possible luck! Possible! But, you know, we're also being able to bomb them. Get your cat back up, morons. Full speed to St. John. <sighs> okay, so what happened here was the weather. The weather fucked us over. And we had a bunch of radar reports. We need scramble the fucking cap, guys, please. Okay. Carriers, carriers, no, this way, 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 please. Your goal. Okay, we are torpedo bombing stuff, which is at least good. And their CVs are reportedly around there. St. John. Run to St. John. This good news is at the very least we are hitting stuff. Just stay on course, get into get into port, get into port, get into port. Sure. Yes to all. Yes to all. Yes to all. Yes to all. St. John. St. John. St. John. Please. Yeah, sure. St. John. Just get into port. Get into port. Okay. We win. Not our best engagement, but it's a victory. Um, we sank two transports and damaged multiple carriers. Their carriers did get into port. Alright, so CV Wasp, we managed to put a torpedo to, into. Um, so this would have... Yeah, this would have been the second day. So... Indefatigable got a or indefatigable got a hit into Wasp. Hancock took a torpedo hit from Indefatigable as well, suffered significant damage. Ranger also took a torpedo hit from Indefatigable and uh, suffered some damage. Um, Pegasus, we took a torpedo hit from Airbase Portland. Um, we got a bomb hit, a dud bomb hit from a rip on B from Airbase Saint John into uh, the cruiser Frederick. Pure Merchant 8 took multiple torpedo hits, so that was from Audacious. Merchant 7 took a torpedo hit from Indefatigable and sank. Furious's bomb hit was caused by a uh, privateer from Airbase Portland. And Loch Navar took a bomb hit from Airbase Portland. So, Port... Air <laughs> Basically, their airbase was doing more to us than we were doing to them. Um... So, it's a win. Uh, really a moderate victory, but it's still a win. Um, definitely, well, like, that's not like the first carrier and carrier battle, but it's certainly like the first, probably the first like proper big one, which actually went anywhere where it wasn't just, you know, everyone being completely ineffective. Um, I think what, what this tells me is we need more planes. 
let's see, total losses. We lost, okay, air details, um, we'll go to air details quickly. I'll just kind of scroll down a few times. Beetle hits four from Audacious on that one transport. Is the group some infactable? And that's kind of it. So, what I want to look at was this. So, our losses were mostly fighters. Um, yeah, we lost more planes than they did. Uh, we lost a torpedo bomber and a dive bomber to anti-aircraft fire. They lost a lot more to anti-aircraft fire. That's 11. Um, so 7 torp bombers and 4 medium bombers. Uh, air to air losses, we lost 5 fighters, 3 medium bombers, and a float plane scout. They didn't lose any fighters, but they did lose 9 torpedo bombers, a medium bomber, and um, 3 patrol bombers. Op losses, we took heavy op losses, especially from maximum cap. That's kind of what that does. Um... And also, you know, some of our stuff was landing really late. And then lost on ground ship. Um, we lost eight fighters from uh, the bomb hit on Furious. They didn't lose any in that regard. So it is, it's a victory. Um, but it definitely could have been a lot better. So I think they largely retreated into port outside of that remaining merchant. Yeah, we damaged their ships and they went, nope, we're, we're going into Boston. Okay, British marginal victory. Clip says condenser trouble. For a setback and figure out the context of Torpex, we've lost a sub, we've lost another sub, we've lost another sub. God damn it, an enemy sub has torpedoed and sunk. Destroyer or a sovereign is damaged. Sank six enemy subs though, but definitely a significant chunk of our own subs lost. I'm going to lay down one destroyer of each type. But yeah, now we're in a significantly bad monetary spot. But, you know, with some stuff completing soon. Um, yeah, what is our current carrier state? So, Eagle's still working on getting more dive bombers. Uh, Strel's working on more dive bombers, it looks like. Uh... Africa needs more dive bombers. So right now our issue is dive bombers. And uh, some of our flying boat squadrons are still equipping. But yeah, man, I cannot... I cannot currently afford this. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. This has been me, Noni Moment 7 Spore. With World Wars 2, links to my Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are down below if you're interested in any of those things. Alright! Bye!